Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, for those of you who are, who are actually wondering, um, how much weight has currently been completely lost? Thank God, 40 pounds are off now. So yes, I'm fitting into clothes that I could not fit into from before, well, for the last couple of years, ever since this guy got broken. So it's nice to be back in. So what am I here to talk to you guys about today? Uh, one of you guys over there, uh, Jicky, I think. I, I'm Jicky. I'm, I want to completely screw it name because I don't, I didn't remember to go check before I made this comment. However, one of you was wondering, what am I doing for diet? What am I doing for food? What am I doing for, in order to drop all of this weight? Um, very simply guys, again, portion control, that's number one. Secondly, um, I actually make my own food. As you guys know, because I had my own cafe and all that other stuff. So uh, what am I here to teach you guys today is in addition, how did I drop the 40 pounds? It has been uh, lean protein, eating good carbohydrates and actually eating good fat. I'm somehow surprisingly all these diets that are out there, people try to tell you to um, do all these other weird things. It's all actually to become subcaloric. But what pe the way people are trying to do it is that they, they try to overcompensate by giving you more fat uh, so that you feel more satiated or more full. Um, I think it's all a bunch of crap. You just have to eat proportion balanced meals and still maintain subcaloric if that's what you're trying to do, if you're trying to lose weight. If you're trying to bulk up, you got to eat more. If you're trying to lose weight, you got to eat less. Very simple math, you know, addition and subtraction. That's it. But uh, again, uh, how do you make the perfect omelet? I'm about to show you that right now. Uh, first thing, first and foremost, make sure you grab a sharp knife, uh, grab a chopping board, and then grab any accoutrement that you need uh, in terms of vegetables, in terms of whatever you want to add. Uh, I generally stick with green peppers, mushrooms. This is all I had in my fridge right now, so I figured why not use the bell peppers. Um, and if you also want, use three eggs. Uh, I prefer to use three eggs. Um, generally, sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit low on energy, I bulk it up to four or five. Uh, and if, if I'm feeling, you know, kind of, uh, kind of full in the morning, then I kind of stick to around three. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm having pretty much the rest of the remainder of the day. I kind of stick to having coffee um, and then uh, have a light snack, you know, maybe a, a cliff bar or some kind of a you know, uh, somewhat of a filling bar. And then after that, I go have dinner, which is probably a, a large salad, some kind of a larger protein dish, and that's it, and that's it. But right now, again, how to make the perfect omelet. Um, so what you guys really need to do is grab a hold of, of a chopping board, a sharp knife, and then after that, take out the, take out the yolks from the egg. Uh, if you wanna add yolks, you can, more than happy to. Again, it's a little bit of extra fat. I generally prefer to have my protein be very lean. And beyond that, uh, then you take your vegetables, finally chop each one of your vegetables as much as you can without cutting your fingers. Uh, use the three finger technique. Basically, you put uh, uh, one finger, the middle finger goes on the top and your ring finger, index finger, follow right behind it. And then you use your knife as a supporting bridge so you don't chop off your fingers. If you wanna know more about that, I can teach you about that as well. Uh, in addition to that, uh, what you then have to do is, I usually use a high-end grade olive oil. Try to stay away from margarine, coconut oil, all that stuff. Again, it's a bunch of crap. Stick to olive oil. It has a lower smoking point. That's why you got to make sure you are paying attention to the type of oil that you're using. Again, if it starts to smoke, you're going to burn your apartment down. So, olive oil, lower smoking point, basically means instead of it, a, you know, smoke will come out at probably 165 degrees uh, centigrade, or in that in case of Fahrenheit, I have no idea how the hell to convert that. I've just come back to the U.S. I'm not used to Fahrenheit, so I gotta get used to that again. However, point of the matter is, saute your vegetables, and I will cut in back and forth into the video and explain to you how to make this omelet. Again, take a look. Not bad. All right, now. Because this is a non-stick, um, I recommend that you actually be very careful. Don't try to scratch the coating. Uh, I prefer to use stainless steel, um, but again, because I'm a little running a little bit late, I need to finish this right now, and then uh, it'll get done a little bit quicker, but I don't recommend you doing that all the time. There's a, there's a saying, the, the ones who are patient, the ones who are patient have the sweetest fruit, I guess. Um, anyway, so quickly get you guys up to speed on this. Take a look at that. Still too early. Um, and how do I know that it's too early? It's because there's still a little bit of bubbles on the size of the eggs over here. You want to have that start to dissipate a little bit. If you, for those of you who have made pancakes, if you ever sometimes wonder like, when do I flip the pancake and then it's like got too many bubbles um, or it's kind of burnt out through, as generally means you've gone too long. But right now with eggs, the thing is over here, um, it's still on the raw side. Okay, let's do a check. Um, let's see what we got over here. Okay, it's nice and golden brown. Flip that. Pop that underneath. And boys and girls, you have a very nice 
golden color omelet for an egg white omelet. And now guys, we're going in for the for the flip. So again, there is a there's a roll and a flip. I generally like to put my omelets in half. So we will go for a half here. Beautiful. Take a look at that. Half crescent moon right there. And finally end it. There. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have a beautiful omelet ready to eat, high in protein, excellent quality, and didn't take more than five minutes to make. All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, here is the omelet that we said we were talking about. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Again, you guys have seen me eat one of these in the previous videos, but I don't know if I ever taught you guys how to make them. But uh, again, not many calories on this, not more than 200 calories, anything that's gone into here. So let's give it a shot. Hmm, very nice. So. That's pretty much a um, good deal breakfast. Um, and if you're feeling like, again, you're not filled with this particular omelet, what you want to do is, uh, in advance, you can boil potatoes. Potatoes are probably one of my favorite vegetables um, because, because I lift heavy weights in general. So instead of going off, I've stopped actually removed protein shakes. I've removed all kinds of uh, chemical-based um, enhancers, I guess. I mean, I never, thank God I never took steroids or anything, but... Um, I've, I've completely shifted away from using any form of protein shake or anything like that. So the question is, what is the goal now? Like, am I gonna try to keep on? I'm actually gonna try to get back to the original weight that I had before my major accident. Um, then again, I was too light. I was weighed around 157 pounds. Way too, I mean, I couldn't lift anything. I couldn't do anything. Looked good, but from, uh, I mean, I generally enjoy doing some kind of a sport-related activity. I like to be fit, so. Um, I need to have a little bit more muscle mass on my frame. So we'll see. Um, over halfway done with the journey, which is nice. Um, and uh, again, uh, just from a dietary perspective, try to stay away from anything processed. I know sometimes when we have the opportunity to go to a vending machine, you look at everything and you're like, ah, that sounds great. Try to stay away from that. Um, a good alternative for uh, keeping yourself full is raw nuts, and if you're allergic to nuts, um, then the other option is is to, if you can get a hold of yogurt without sugar added, add a little bit of honey, natural honey. Again, those are your midday snacks that you have, cottage cheese. If you hate cottage cheese, again, go to yogurt. Try to stay away from bread, anything processed. Uh, yeast in general, I'm not talking about people who have like, um, uh, who, who, are, uh, who, who require something gluten-free, unless you have celiac disease, that's another thing. But uh, it's generally the yeast, once it enters into your stomach, then that's really what you get that bloated feeling from. So staying away from bread. Uh, an another lovely alternative that I enjoy is I, ha I like to eat dates and I like to have olives. Those are some of my favorites. So yeah, so those are some, uh, some, some cool things that I like to do. I'm gonna finish this omelet and I'm gonna get going. starting to rain. I better get this camera out of here. Um, rain is picking up. Welcome to MIT hallways. So I'm going down to the basement right now. I'm be picking up some much needed supplies. Again, tell, tell me you guys don't think that these hallways are creepy as anything. I mean, I love it. It's nice, but I could totally see like a horror film being like shot out at the basement out of here. Matter of fact, I probably would shoot a horror film out of this basement. If you guys are in Boston, you want to make a short horror film, call me. <laughs> okay, so back onto the dietary regime again. Um, I'm going to switch up cameras. Three, two, one. Okay, and here we are. Um, again, a lot of the noises from the refrigeration over here. I would technically avoid these brands. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to diss the brands. Sure, I mean, like, you know, if I'm not trying to watch my diet, I'd go there. Uh, again, guys, so traditional vending machines. Again, Ryan, it's not as interesting as Japan. We just got the same generic stuff over here. So I should title this uh, Amazing American Vending Machines. And it's totally not. It's just not amazing. But uh, guys, so all of this stuff over here that you see, um, especially... Again, not trying to crap on the brands, not trying to crap on these things, but if you're trying to lose weight, 
these are the things you want to avoid um, only because of the fact that uh, especially if you're you know trying to get away from the processed food a lot of the things that have preservatives and additives they just get stuck in your gut and it takes a while for that crap to get out so even if you think it says healthy limited kind of calories it's not it's not it's not just about the calories it's also the crap that goes into it which is why I prefer not to plug my own cookies but that's why I eat my own cookies because um, you know sometimes somebody was asking me do you eat your own cookies I was like totally do like if I'm you know if I'm if it's my cheat meal I would rather go to go to go go to my cookies as opposed to getting something from like here or including any ice cream from here I mean it's kind of kind of insane but what I will do uh, granted um, even though it's not like high-end or amazing I will get coffee so coffee's okay no sugar no nothing um, it is what it is. I mean, you know, you were asking what I'm doing in my diet. This is, this is how I've lost my 40 pounds, man. I've stayed away from all that sort of junk and sticking to traditional coffee stuff right over here. How did I get used to having just black coffee? Uh, it took about three days. But then after that, you actually get kind of used to it. And now the weird thing is I don't really see myself having like cappuccinos. I mean, I, I technically would have a cappuccino, not a problem with that. But I was doing some reading, don't know how accurate it is, where they say when you add milk to like coffee and tea, it loses its medicinal purposes. I don't. Look, if you're gonna enjoy a coffee, enjoy a cappuccino, enjoy a cappuccino. Don't make it skinny. Do the whole thing, do the full fat, you know. God put cows on this planet, if you believe in that sort of stuff, and they weren't meant to be altered, so enjoy. Welcome to Boston Rain. Not fun. Not fun at all. This is sucking. Um, and again, generally, I do stay away from frying stuff. So it's generally baked. Potatoes, boil them, have mashed potatoes. Fantastic. So, uh, um, and again, if you guys are trying to get more on the rib side, limit the potatoes down. I can explain a little bit more on that a little bit later. I gotta get out of this rain and stop talking to the damn camera. Um, I've actually been given a call. So somebody wanted to have some cookies. So I'm actually getting that all prepared to get that all sent out. So until then guys, enjoy. I will see you guys uh, next Tuesday. If there's anything that you guys would like to talk about, discuss, and or see in the lovely Boston area, let me know. I'm actually still exploring. I've been here multiple times. Again, for those of you who know that I used to live in New York, so I used to come up here quite often. Um, so I am kind of familiar with it. But if you guys want to see something, it'd be great. Let me know. Until then, let me see what else I got. I gotta get some eggs. Yes, freshly cracked those eggs. Well, I mean, again, these eggs are not for me. Um, they're for the person who wants them. And they are organic eggs. Good old time. Like, you know, put in good, get out good. I think I have everything that is required. Nope. Gotta get vanilla. And that is it. Okay, guys. I'm gonna get going. See you guys next Tuesday. Take care.